While your users interact and engage with your products, they're always performing actions, making a purchase, inviting a teammate, or running a report. You can send data about these actions to Intercom in the form of events. By sending this event data to Intercom, you can send more targeted and contextual messages to your users. In this video, I'll bring you through events and how they work. Events track the amount of times an action has been done, which is tracked with a simple count. So every time an action happens, like when a purchase is made, the count will increase by one. Also tracked is the first time the event occurred and the last time the event occurred. To see this in context, Let's use this made purchase event, which I have stored in my dummy environment. As you can see, we can filter the count to see how many times users made a purchase. We could set it to be count is greater than 10 to find all the users who have made more than 10 purchases, for example. Now, if we want to find the first time a user made a purchase, we can use the first occurred filter. So we could find all the users who made their first purchase in the last 10 days, like so. Finally, we have the option to filter for the last time this event occurred. So we could find all the users who made a purchase in the last day, like so. Events are very powerful as they provide insight into what actions our users are taking within our product. On top of the count, the first occurred and last occurred, we can also add extra pieces of data to an event, which help us understand the event or action a bit better. You can see with our example event made payment, there are a few extra data points that were captured when the action occurred. The item that was purchased, the color, the size, and even how much that individual item was worth. These pieces of extra data are called metadata, and they help give us insight into each event that occurs. It's important to note it's currently not possible to filter on the metadata of an event, but it's always good practice to include as much metadata as possible. And that's it for events. So to recap, events are great for tracking the amount of times a user completes a particular action in our product, and when it first occurred, and when it last occurred.